I have always been surprised by the president with his appointments. <laughs> you appoint a young girl from Chivoga to be the Minister of State for Luero Triangle, meaning you are going to deal with veterans. You are a young girl from the, from the university and you are going to be in charge of an area where the president fought from and you are not part of the liberation war. And you say, yes, I will do it. And from there, you hear your, soul, your name being announced as a Minister of State for Defense. Now, leaving veterans, going for the Rio, <laughs> and your office will be in Bombo Barracks, where you will be going every day, and every time you are passing at the gate, they have to do the rituals of, you know, saluting, and uh, every day. And that is the time when Northern Uganda was really suffering. LRA was killing people. You jump from the frying pan to the rear of fire. And I'm like, but it is the commander in chief who has appointed me. Maybe he knows that I will do it. Let's move. Let us move. Let me go and put whatever I have. And the biggest resource that I have is the energy. I will do it. I will move to northern Uganda. I will go to areas where they have never seen a minister. I will do it. So you have to discover what is your biggest resource that you have. If it is here, you use it. If it is real energy, physical, use it. Be everywhere and perform. So from, from a defense where I spent eight years, really. Every time a reshuffle is done, you think you're going to be taken somewhere else, you're left there. And I, and I was removed when Joseph Kony was not there. The, the area had been pacified. So because we came here to share, I thought I should share with you my story too. And from there, you go to microfinance, Ministry of Finance. Now, figures, what? <laughs> I'm a good mathematician. I did PCB, Physics, Chemistry, Biology, and Mathematics. But I did fine art at Makero University. So that is also a story. <laughs> <laughs> Physics, Chemistry, Biology, Stroke, Submath at Nabi Sunsa Girls School. But I did, <laughs> I did Bachelor of Arts, Fine Art, Makere University. I loved art because I did art at the at, uh, A level. And again, my teachers had refused me to add fine art on PCB, physics, chemistry, biology, math, and then fine art. Will you have your own program? I said, yes. I'll be doing art in the evening. So I ended up doing fine art. So now, I worked with Saida Bomba, and I learned a lot from her when she was my senior minister of finance, when I was in microfinance. Jumping from microfinance, I was taken to agriculture. To do what? To be in charge of fishery resources. I didn't know how to, fit, to swim even. So that means I will be operating on Lake Victoria to chase people who are in, in, engaged in illegal fishing. So that means I will be operating in water, water transport, but I didn't even know how to swim in a swimming pool. So I said I will do it. And I harassed those people. I earned a name. There is a weed that invades you know, it's, a, it's a really a weed that invades the waters. And when the weed invades, you cannot fish. So that weed in East was called Nakabirwa. <laughs> Nankabirwa, but they pronounce it as Nakabirwa. Nakabirwa has come because when I go, nobody can do illegal fishing on the waters. So I did the fisheries. And from there, now you are the government chief whip, the post I hated most. 
because really, whipping big people, including the president, whipping them, you're supposed to deliver, you are supposed to, you are supposed to be in parliament, we have to have quorum. Well, I did it for six years. They do it for three years, maximum. I did it for six years. Okay. I didn't know where to go next, but I said, I think I better think about um, taking leave of elective politics. I've been elected six times. Every after five, five years, you go back to Chiboga and ask for votes, and they vote for you. After five years, you go back and they vote for you. Six times, you know? And uh, this time around, I didn't make it because of the politics in the central region. I said, okay, now I'm going to live and do my own. I was there planning. And then I just watched on TV, Minister of Energy and Rural Development. <laughs> Now, what am I going to do in energy, electricity? What am I going to do in the minerals? What? Petroleum at this time. Okay, I will do it. People always ask me how I have made it, as if I don't have not been having challenges. I have been having challenges as well. The first challenge came, many, many challenges, but let me mention two. I, I traveled with the president to, um, to Libya some time back, and I was taking my master's course. And uh, I had to be in exams, but I had not asked for permission to do the master's course, first of all. But now I'm the one there to sit with him in the summit and uh, I just let go. So that year, I was unable to graduate. Hmm, the papers wrote that I failed, Nakabira fails exams. <laughs> <laughs> First page, new vision. I didn't, I didn't care. I knew that I was going to sit the, the following year. <laughs>